You all been doing it wrong. Amateur radio and GMRS2. With all the people stating that I need a cattle poise, you're dead freaking wrong. Do you need a cattle poise when you use this? Do you need a cattle poise when you use this? No. We've had some really heated arguments. This radio doesn't have a cattle poise. What's the difference? This has a battery. This has a battery. I put my hand on this to transmit. I put up my hand on this to measure. It's the same thing. However, when we talk, we talk like this. When we test, we test like this. Wrong. Bring this up to here and test, and you will be surprised because it's the same when you're talking. Or like this, or like this. Make sure it's up. You're not going to do gangster and talk horizontally. We have no idea what the SWRs are on this, right? We put it on the Shurcom meter, such as this, and we do a test. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go to 449950, where this bad boy transmitted at 6.6 .6 watts, as we all remembered. But we did it with a dummy load. Let's do it with the antenna on board. And we're going to hit transmit. And we're going to go like this. I'm going to put it against my face. And we're going to take a look at it. And we're getting 5.74 watts. <clears throat> Reverse power is 1.87. And we are getting 3.68 SWRs. Oh, look at that. What a son of a bitch. The SWRs are through the roof. Now, why is that? Huh? How is that possible? I thought this was well-tuned, and this doesn't know how to... This doesn't... This The answers I get with this is wrong. So that means this is not resonating properly on this particular antenna with this radio. However, when I did a dummy load, it was amazing. But when we do it this way, it's off the wall wrong. That's crazy. That doesn't make any sense. So we're getting 3.66 SWRs on this. Is this really a VHF antenna or a UHF antenna? Let's go to 144000. Let's do that. And we transmit. We go up to our face like this. And this SWR is 1.05. And we're putting out 4.17 watts with 0 0.003. So this antenna is specifically for VHF. Okay, now we know that. So let's remove it and stick it on the Rig Expert Pro. I could talk. We'll take this off like so. We put this bad boy on like so. And now we're going to turn this thing on. And we're going to hit the plus because with the Rig Expert Pro, we have we can do multi mode. And I'm going to hold it up to my face like this and wait for it to finish, and it's done. And we get a 1.592 meter two star rating at 143.64, and we and it only resonates on two meter. That would indicate 100 percent correctly based off of what we got from the Shurcom. The SWRs were through the roof over three. Dot six on this radio, and that would correspond correctly with this. So, you do not need a counterpoise. Whoever says that, you're wrong. So, now let's say we're going to just do a regular test and we're going to do it in our hand just like this. Instead of holding it up to my face, I'm going to go like this and hit, we're going to have it find it on its own. 1.65. Resonating at 143.64. So, this is working as intended. And it's only a VHF antenna. This is not a UHF antenna. However, I'm using it as a UHF antenna. So, I'm, I'm actually pumping a lot of power back into the radio when I'm transmitting on UHF with this little dinky antenna. This only resonates on VHF. So I'm actually operating the UV5R Mini incorrectly with this antenna that it came with. You do not need a counterpoise 
with the Rig Expert Pro. This acts as the HT, just like this, as I'm holding it in my hand. It has a battery, it has metal, has everything this has, so does this, and it acts exactly the same. There is no need for a counterpoise. If I need a counterpoise, that means the antenna that is currently done, that means if I put a counterpoise on the HT, this will resonate properly better? No, you don't need a counterpoise. You don't have one ever on any HT. Counterpoises are only used if you tuned your antenna wrong, and then you need a counterpoise to make it normal. That means you f***ed up when you designed the antenna. That's what that means. So if you need a counterpoise, you screw it up. Simple as that. Just admit it, that you made a mistake, and we'll be A-OK. -okay. There's no reason for a goddamn counterpoise. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm just saying right out, because you don't need one when you're on the HT, and you don't need one when you're using the Rig Expert Pro. Stick. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of all these people stating you need this, you need that, you need this, you need that. No, because you don't need a counterpoise when you're transmitting on the HT. So we could do the same thing. We could, you know, we could, we could keep putting antennas on this to find out if it's correct. Because this SWR meter, as we know, is dead on balls accurate. We know it is because we just proved it. The two together. This didn't find a resonated frequency on VHF with that little antenna because it was off the wall. This is the Rig Expert Pro is not going to find things that are 4.0, <laughs> four, you know, four to one. That's just ridiculous. So, let's just see. It only it did 1.5 at 146.4. So let's do 146.4. I. And we hit. So let's put it up to my head again. Check one two. Check one two. One six two one five. I will accept that as the answer. Point <clears throat> six point uh, two six seven reverse power total four point seven seven. Now this is not dummy load, this is antenna. See? The rig expert does not require a counterpoise. You guys are all wrong. I love it when I come up with all the right data. You got to put the rig expert up to your face because you're doing the same thing when you're using the radio. So we got to keep it the same, the factual same. Everything, the data has got to be the same. The purpose has to be the same and the use has to be the same. This is much more detailed and, um, and has, it's a more, this is a measuring tool. This is a transmitter. This will find out exactly what the resonated friction frequency is. This will transmit on anything you put in it. And we're trying to match the same thing. And it's damn close. 162, 150. I say that's pretty good. Ooh.